Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over leak code 1460, make two arrays equal by reversing subarrays. So this is a classic, uh, classic leak code problem where it's just a complicated way of phrasing it. Um, really all this is asking is do the arrays have the same uh, frequencies of integers? Now the reason why the proof of this is we're allowed to reverse any non-empty subarray, right? And we're allowed to make any number of steps which means if they have the same integer frequencies, we can always make them equal. And the proof of this is, is if you look, we can actually reverse subarrays um, of size two, and we can just keep doing that. So really, uh, if you have like these two arrays here, um, you can, as long as they have the same character frequencies or integer frequencies, uh, you could just keep reversing this all day long, right? You can easily get this to that. So this one to two, this one, two, three, four thing, if we want to get it to this array, uh, you could just like, you know, reverse these two here. Um, if we want to get this four here, okay, let's reverse this portion. So this would become four, three, one. Looks like we're almost there, two, four, one, three, and then reverse this last portion, one, three. So you can do this all day long pairwise, and you can always make them equal always if they have the same frequencies. It might take a while, but you can. So this reversing subarrays business, uh, it just doesn't matter. It's just asking same character frequencies. Because we can do it an unlimited number of times, um, it's just asking that. So we look here, array can go up to a thousand. Uh, let's just simply uh, count these, right? Uh, so what did I say? They have to have the same integer frequencies. So all we're going to do here is we're simply going to, so let's create an array of frequencies. So let's do this a thousand, right? It can only go up to a thousand. So let's call this frequencies, new in, a thousand and one. So this will be the integer frequencies and we're gonna go through this target. So for each in, in target, uh, let's just increment it here. And we're gonna go through uh, the array as well and this time we're gonna decrement it. The reason why I wanna do this is because they should be balanced. They should have the same exact frequencies. So every single uh, element in this frequency should be zero, right? So we're gonna go through each frequency in frequency, and if the frequency is basically uh, not equal to zero, uh, we're gonna return false right away uh, because this means it was unbalanced and there's no, we, no way we could ever make these arrays equal because that would mean this one has too many. Like, what if this array had like two twos? We could never make this equal to target. Uh, be, it's just impossible. So if we get here, that means we're fine and we can return true. Uh, let's run this. Looks like it's good. Let's submit this. It might be slow because I'm just naively going through every possible number. Uh, 86, actually, that's pretty good. Okay, let's talk about time and space here. So for this problem, uh, time is on, the reason being is we have to go through every element in target and array. There's just no way around that. We have to do that. Uh, space is actually O of one because we're bound to some fixed constant value based on the constraint. You can call this O of n two because of the frequencies. Uh, if it was unbounded, we'd have to use a hash map and it would be O of n, but in this case, it's O of one because we're fixed here. So yeah, hope this made sense. I uh, hope this made it an easy problem with a weird uh, description a little bit easier. Thank you for watching.